Zenda has been there for some time now and I mean it's one of the biggest platforms that allows us to send files from one place to the other. I mean especially from Android to iOS, iOS to Android, Android to Android, iOS to iOS. I mean it's a very very unique platform and even people on iOS who can't afford Apple Music or any music subscription service tend to use Zenda to listen to music. So it's a versatile application and I love that about the app. But today they have added something very extreme and significant or something wonderful on the app and i'm here to share it with you guys today i'm going to show you how you can download whatsapp stories or statuses via the zender app and i'm doing this because i feel like zender is more on anyone's phone anybody at all has zender on their phone so this will be convenient other than going to download whatsapp status saver from the play store it saves space even though you wouldn't have to i'm talking too much let's just move on once again, thank you to everybody who has subscribed and those who still live here. Thank you for staying in our home. <laughs> so I wouldn't waste much time. Let's just jump right into the tutorial. But first off, I'd like to explain a couple of things. Zenda would allow you to download WhatsApp status or stories and also allow you to download stuff from Instagram. So it's now serving as a multi-purpose application that doesn't only allow you to send files and receive files, but also you can actually listen to music. It has an inbuilt music player. And then you can also go ahead to download WhatsApp status or stories. All you have to do is to make sure you have the Zender app on your phone. Now, when you have the Zender app on your phone, we just open the app, a screen recording and rolling here as always. And then when you open the app, you'd realize that at the lower bottom, there's a button there that says social. If you can't see social there, you then have to update your Zender app because I think it's an update that has been rolled out not too long ago. So once you see social there, all you just have to click on it, all you just have to do is to click on social and then Voila, you see WhatsApp and Instagram there or WhatsApp and other stuff. The screen recording is there. I actually rattled this because I'll do the screen recording separately. So once you see it, that's it. It will just redirect you to your WhatsApp um, stories that have been there already. And then you can go ahead to download them very quickly. I mean, it's quite convenient and very easy to use. I mean, it stays right in your storage and you can re-upload it to your WhatsApp status or story if you want to. And earlier on, I said that you can also download Instagram stories. With my version, I'm using modded apps for all these two applications, so you wouldn't see much, but you should try it out. It works perfectly well. I'm Delpy, and this has been the shortest tutorial ever. I'm lying, I'm just kidding. I knew I spoke longer. I'm Delpy, and thanks for watching. Thanks for staying here. I'll catch you guys in another one. Stay safe, and peace out. To those of you in Ghana who want to, you know, maybe deliver something to someone and you kind of find it difficult to because you don't know how to, well, Shanzi Korea Service is your best blog. You should just check them out on Instagram. I'll leave a link in the description. Just text them on Instagram where you want to deliver your stuff. They'll be there in no time to deliver your things for you and even deliver things to you. Shanzi Korea Service, they are one of the best Korea services in the country at the moment. Just check them out. And this is just for people in Ghana and Accra to be precise.